Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Thanksgiving edition part two, sponsored by Danos. Let's go. First up, let's roll for bread. Six, King's Hawaiian. We had these Hawaiian rolls as a side for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm gonna use two of them today to make our sandwich. All right, now for our first leftovers roll. Nine, mashed potatoes. I see your starch and I raise you another starch. I've definitely done this on Thanksgiving before. A little mashed potatoes, a little gravy on some bread. Can't go wrong. All right, let's hit it with some more leftovers. Three, dark meat turkey. All right, dark meat is my preferred choice when it comes down to it. I shredded it up for this sandwich to try to get an even layer. Next up, let's hit it with our first wild magic roll. 10 more leftovers. All right, let's roll on that table again. 11 carrots. All right, these are some candied carrots that my mom made. Cinnamon, butter, pecans, some onions. They're pretty good, even if they were rolling off the mountain of food that's piling up on this roll. All right, and some more wild magic. Four, canberry sauce. Yes, I said canberry, it's cranberry sauce, but it's specifically the canned gelatin kind rather than cranberry relish, which is also on the list. You either love or hate this stuff. I personally like it, though I wouldn't really call it a sauce, but that's what it's called. And now for the D20 sauce roll. Eight, Wickles Spicy Red. This is a spicy pickled pepper relish, which I think will be an interesting accent to the cranberry sauce. It's taking it a little away from the traditional Thanksgiving flavors, but I don't think that'll be a bad thing. All right, well, two of our Dano's low sodium, no calorie seasonings remain, so we're gonna flip a coin, heads or tails. Here we go. All right, it's tails. So we're gonna go with spicy Dano's today, and we'll use the other one tomorrow. The spicy version is like the original everyday seasoning, but with the addition of some cayenne pepper, gives it a nice heat without making it too overpowering. All right, let's get our sandwich topped off here and get our toothpicks in to hold it together as best we can. And let's get it cut in half, right on the dotted line. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right, it's holding together. All right, Thanksgiving leftover sandwich number two. Hopefully it doesn't all fall apart. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, this is not bad at all. The cranberry sauce has a good acidity, but also sweetness, which pairs great with the spicy relish and the spicy seasoning. I think this one earns a 9.6, and I'm gonna call it the Phoenix. Thanks again to Danos for sponsoring this episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for part three.